Hello math learners! Have you mastered the competency of our last video? If so, then you are ready to our topic for today. This is all about how to divide rational algebraic expression. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter one, week four of the grade eight mathematics. This is all about how to divide rational algebraic expression. So, let us start. We have already discussed how to multiply rational algebraic expression. Now, in dividing rational algebraic expression, there is a slight twist. As you can see in our form, if we have A over B divided by C over D, what we will do is we will apply what we have learned in dividing fraction. So, what do we do is we get the reciprocal of the divisor, which is the second term, and your divide sign will become multiplication. So, as you can see, a over B did not change here, while C over D was changed into D over C, which is the reciprocal, and the divide becomes multiplication. Now, in the multiplication, we have discussed that it is very simple. You multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. So, giving you A over D over B over C, because A times D is AD and B times C is BC. But always remember, having a fraction or a rational algebraic expression, the denominator side must not be equal to zero. Okay, for you to learn more, let's consider some real examples. Let's start first with simple fractions. Let's say you have one half divided by three fourth. What you will do here is to copy first the first term, then get the reciprocal of the second term that is 4 over 3 and then proceed to multiplication now in multiplying you can just multiply directly numerator to numerator or denominator to denominator or you can use the cancellation as we see here we have 4 and 2 here this can be cancelled by 2 so this will become 2 and this will become 1 so 1 times 2 that is 2 1 times 3 and that is 3. Therefore, 1 half divided by 3 fourth, the answer is 2 thirds. Is it right? Now let's consider another example. Now for our second example, we have 5 over 2 divided by 9 over 4. As you can see, this is both fractions. So what we will do is we copy first the first fraction. Then we get the reciprocal of 9 over 4. That is 4 over 9. Then we proceed to multiplication. So, in multiplication, remember to use cancellation because in rational algebraic expression, that becomes very handy. So, we have here 2 and 4. This is divisible by 2. So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 5 and 9, okay, that's, all, that's it. So, we have 5 times 2, that is 10. 1 times 9, that is 9. Since this is an improper fraction, you could change that into a mixed number and that is 1 and 1 over 9. So if your answer is 10 over 9 or 1 and 1 over 9, you are still correct. Now, I hope you have now a strong foundation on how to divide fractions. Now, let us consider rational algebraic expressions. Okay, math learners, for our first discussion in dividing rational algebraic expression, we have here... 6ab squared over 4cd divided by 9a squared b squared over 8c squared d squared. So what you will do first is you apply what you have learned earlier in dividing fractions. So you copy first the first fraction and then this divide will become times. And then this one you will get the reciprocal. So that is 8c squared d squared over... 9a squared b squared okay now for this matter you will just use the cancellation as much as possible 
for you to acquire the simplest form of your answer. Now, let's check. We have here 6 and 4. 6 and 4 can be divided by 2. So, this will become 3 and this will become 2. We also have here 8 and 9. So, there is no divisible by that. So, 8 and 9. Now, let's consider 8 and 2 here. So, 8 and 2 can be divided by 2. So, this will become 4 and this will become 1. You follow? Okay. Next, we have here 3 and 9. So, these are both divisible by 3. So, you divide this by 3. This will become 3. You divide this by 3. You have 1. Next is you will consider the numbers. Okay. So, 1 times 4, that is 4. 1 times 3, that is 3. Okay. So, you are through with the coefficients. Now, let's consider the variables. We have A here. And we have two a's here, or a squared. That means two a's. Okay, so you will cancel the first a here and the a here, leaving one a. Okay, then we have here the b squared and the b squared. They are both the same, so you can cancel immediately, leaving you no b at all. We have c squared here, we have c here. So there are two c's here and we have one c here, so you can cancel them but leaving 1c. You follow? Okay. We have d squared here. We have d here. So we have 2d. We have 1d. You can cancel this. Leaving 1d. Canceling this. No d. Okay. Now, you will consider the variables in the numerator and the variables in the denominator. So we have c and d. So that is 4cd. We have here a. Okay. So, therefore, your final answer is 4CD over 3A. Sounds easy, right? Okay. Now, let us go to an example in which you have binomials or trinomials in dividing rational algebraic expression. Okay, math learners, we are here in our final example, which is a trinomial numerator and denominator divided by a fraction with trinomials as numerator and denominators. So we have here 2x squared plus x minus x all over 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 divided by the fraction x squared minus 2x minus 8 over 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Now remember the trinomial can only be cancelled by a trinomial if they are identical. Now, as we can see here, all of our trinomials in the numerator and in denominator doesn't have any identical um, expression. However, you can also use the factorization in which you will factor out the trinomial into two factors of binomials. And see to it, if there are identical factors in the numerator and in the denominator, then you can cancel them. Okay. Now, the first thing you should do here is to apply the first rule in dividing fractions. So, what we will do is we will copy our first expression. That is 2x squared plus x minus 6 divided by 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. You multiply that one by the reciprocal of this fraction. So, we have 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 over x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, if you can still remember our lesson in factoring general trinomials, what we will do here is we make two, fact two quantities as factors. Okay, Same goes to this denominator as well as our part here. Okay, Next is you will factor this one. In factoring trinomials, see to it that you can factor first the first term. That is 2x squared. So, what are the factors of 2x squared? That is 2x and x. Okay. Next is to factor our negative 6. Now, since that is negative, we could assume that that is from the two factors that are unlike signs. That is positive and negative. Now, I just like to point out that we are still using here the trial and error because it is not sure that the next sign of 2x is positive and the next sign of x here is negative. So, let we will check later on. Okay. What are the factors of 6? Okay. Factors of 6 are 6 and 1 and 2 and 3. Now, let us consider 2 and 3 first, okay? So, if I will use positive 2 and negative 3, would that be a correct factor for our 
first trinomial. Okay. So, in order for us to check, what we will do here is, we will multiply the inner terms and the outer terms. Now, 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6x. Now, negative 6x plus 2x, that will give us negative 4. So, therefore, our um, factors are wrong. So, we will use, let's say, um, positive 3 and negative 2. Okay, now, 2x squared times negative 2, that is negative 4. Um, 3x, 3 times x, that is 3x. Negative 4 plus 3x, that is negative x. We are finding positive x. Therefore, we are very close to our correct factors. It, the sign is just different. So, what we will do is we change our sign here as 2x minus 3 and this will become x plus 2 because negative 3x and positive 4x will give you positive x. Okay, now let's go in our second trinomial. This is 2x squared. So, that is 2x and x, alright? And then we factor our um, 5 here. Since both are positive, we could just use positive here. Okay. So let us consider this is positive 5 and positive 1. Now let's check whether we are correct. Okay. So 5 times x, that is 5x. 2x times 1, that is 2x. 5x and 2x will give us 7x. Therefore, we are correct. Okay. Now let us proceed here. We have 2x squared again. So, we will just put 2x and x here. Then, we have negative 20. So, that means that is a combination of positive and negative. Okay. Now, considering about 20, what are the factors of 20? We have 4 and 5. Okay. Let's use 4 and 5. Okay. That is negative 4. Ah, uh, that is positive 4 and negative 5. Let's check first whether we are correct. Okay. So, positive 4x and negative 10x. So, negative 10 and positive 4. Negative 10 and positive 4. That will give us um, negative 6. We are finding negative 3. So, meaning we are wrong. So, let's use this one is positive 5 and this one will be negative 4. Okay. Let's try again. 2x times negative 4. That is negative 8. 5x. Okay. So, negative 8 and 5. We have negative 3. So, we are correct. Now, let us go to our final trinomial. This is very easy because if your coefficient for x squared is 1, then you can just immediately put x there and then you factor this one such that those factors when added together, they will give you negative 2 and that is negative 4 and positive 2 because if you multiply negative 4 times 2, that is negative 8 and if you Add negative 4 to positive 2. That will give you negative 2. Okay. Now, we have now our factors for all of our trinomials. What we will do here is we will cancel the identical binomials in the numerator and in the denominator. Okay. So, let us now cancel our identical binomials. We have here 2x minus 3. Okay, there is no 2x minus 3 in the denominator side. We have x plus 2. There is an x plus 2 here, so that will be cancelled. Alright, 2x plus 5. And we also have here 2x plus 5. So, this also can be cancelled. We have here x minus 4. And we also have in our denominator x minus 4. So, this will be cancelled. Now, what we will do is we will check what is left in the numerator and what is left in the denominator. So, we have 2x minus 3 in our numerator and we have x plus 1 in our denominator. Therefore, that will be our final answer. Is it right? Okay. Just a quick recap. Remember that in dividing rational algebraic expression, you are just having the same technique as multiplying rational algebraic expression except that the first term there is a twist in which you will change the sign of the divide into multiplication and then the second term take its reciprocal and then proceed to what you just learned in multiplying rational algebraic expression. Okay, and remember this, that as much as possible, you do use the factorization in order for you to cancel those 
binomials or trinomials or even monomials or factors that are identical to both the numerator and denominator. Okay, and now this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic for today.